Hello, this is for the Libras, Libra lovers. This is Tara Queen Jamila here to do your <clears throat> lovers reading for the new moon. This is going to cover the 17th through the 31st of March 2018. So welcome to the channel, Libra. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you need a private reading. The link to my website is below. I do also offer other psychic services, um, uh, not psychic services, but <laughs> spiritual services, okay? Uh, spell work, cleanses, um, healings, things like that, okay? All right, so I am going to call to the spirits and spirit guides for the Libras. First of all, we're going to call, and I already invoked the angels, uh, Archangel Michael and his army. <laughs> We're going to invoke protective spirits and spirit guides for the Libras. Okay. We want to call the ancestors, ascended masters. <laughs> uh, we're going to call to you for protection and guidance for the Libra lovers. What, what general overall thing are you seeing happening? So we're going to, like the other ones, I'm going to draw out a significator. Um, or a card to represent the next couple of weeks, okay? All right. Okay, what, what do you see going on? What overall message do you want to give to Libra couples? Okay. And do you got the chariot? So, the chariot represents determination. The chariot represents um, focus. That's what it represents. Also does represent transportation. So, there may be uh, some transportation issues that a lot of you just looking, looking at the more practicality or practical side of it. Maybe a lot of you Libras are either currently dealing with some kind of transportation situation. Uh, maybe a purchase of a new car is going to happen within the next couple of weeks or the last half of March. Um, a lot of times the chariot represents focus. Being able to stay focused, going, moving forward, not wasting your time and energy on things that don't mean anything. Okay. You know, arguing with somebody about whether or not their hair is a cuter color than yours or arguing with somebody about pettiness. It's when you waste your energy on pettiness. It's not good. It's not a part of your plan. It's it's not a part of your life plan. It's it's actually so the chariot that that's a huge card to get. Let's let's add spirits and spirit guides. Uh, give me a card for Libra and then a card for Libra lover. What is the energies between them? What are you seeing in the recent distant past? Okay, so we want to look at current, what's currently going on, anything relevant from the recent to distant past, and what are you seeing March 17th through the 31st happening in the relationship in the future? All right. Oh, wow. Did y'all see that? Here it is right here. Okay. Okay, right now Libra, the card for the Libras is the Two of Pentacles. The card for Libra Lover is the Emperor. That is the Emperor. Oh, by the way, this is the Dark Angel Tarot deck, so I hope that you guys like it. 
Yep, that is the emperor. Okay, the energies between the two of you is the page of swords. So there's definitely some conflict coming from Libra's side. Libra is either focused on something else, uh, focused on super focused on work. Or it could be that Libra is cheating. Now, see how it can go all the way from one extreme to the other when you're doing a general reading? So that may not resonate for all of you Libras, but I feel like it's some cheating. This is a person, Page of Swords. This represents emotional cheating. It does. It represents emotional cheating. Now, uh, in the past, you see how the three of wands comes up and the ace of swords. So this is somebody that was let go of in the past. I feel as though a lot of you Libras are possibly either you're cheating with an earth sign. Okay. Or, or you're, you're, you're super duper focused on your job and you're not really giving what you're supposed to be giving to your your you know your family your household you're focused on something you're super duper focused on work and so that's why the chariot comes up because now I will tell you that the ace of swords this is representing some kind of uh I feel like in the recent distant past there was some sort of um you were able to outsmart your lover I feel like lover knows something about it that's why lover comes up as the emperor. The energies, in my opinion, are not so good between the two of you because, you know, lover is saying, hey, uh, you know, this is holding back our relationship. This is keeping us from manifesting what we want. So somebody might be feeling held back a little bit. Let me clarify the emperor spirit. Give me some clarity. Uh, see, see how that card flipped over? The five of pentacles flipped, up, flipped over. Okay, so I feel like, and I was, and so that's how your lover is feeling right now. Okay, not such a good feeling at all. What you're going to manifest in the new moon, you got the four of cups and the page of pentacles. So if a lot of you Libras, I can tell you right now, looking at these two cards, materialism and narcissism is going to tear down your relationship. Okay? Materialism and narcissism is going to tear down your relationship. I'm going to try to make that a part of you guys' little individual title. Uh, yeah, Four of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. That's going to tear down your relationship, the materialism. I feel like the, the Four of Cups represents uh, next couple of weeks. The energies are going to be... I feel like... Um, the energies are going to be sort of stagnant when it comes to that, you know, just that emotional flow, that, you know, between the two of you. It's all about the money. It's all about the money in the next couple of weeks. So now, again, you I, I remember I said that I feel like a lot of you are going to be purchasing cars, but it's not going to be happy. It's, it's it, I feel like the four of cups being a you know, being the outcome or the future card is not the best card to get at all. So Libra, something's wrong here. Okay. Uh, Spirit, give me some uh, clarity on this page of uh, swords, please. Okay. See, Queen of Cups comes up. Remember, see, the Queen of Cups is me, Tara Queen Jamila. <laughs> Because I am a water sign. And so this is what I want to tell you. I feel like you guys, look, avoiding your emotions is not going to do any good. See, Seven of Pentacles comes up. So she's telling you that um, what's going to manifest. I mean, the Seven of Pentacles is good as far as in your career. But sometimes it can be a, a crapshoot when you're looking at your love life. Sorry. So I feel like that seven of pentacles is, is not the best of cards to get 
is what she's telling you. Uh, she's saying that it's a, you know, could be a potentially, you know. And so also I will tell you that finances, okay, you're letting finances come between your relationship as well. That's actually not good. It's actually not the best thing. So I'm sorry that you guys didn't get a better outcome. Let me see. Let me get some clarity on this four of cups. Okay. So the world card comes up. XXI is the world card, right? Guys, I'm still getting used to this <laughs> deck. Yep. I feel like you guys are going to move on. I feel like a lot of you guys are moving on. That's what the chariot is representing. <clears throat> You're moving on. You are. Your lover is possibly either a fire sign, water signs especially. If you're dealing with a water sign, Libra, they're not happy. And the reason why they're not happy is because, you know, they feel as though it's they're giving you something that you're not giving back to them. Uh, an earth sign definitely is not happy in this situation. Not to say that it's all your fault, but you can clearly see what you're putting first, which is, you know, your control over the situation. See, you made a choice to make it like this. So I feel like a lot of you are cheating with a water, a fire sign person. Okay, a lot of you are cheating with a fire sign person. You may be cheating with a water sign person, but I just feel like the energies. You know, not the best energies. Let me clarify what this page of, of pentacles is talking about. Uh, I feel like the page of pentacles could be a spirit guide with a message. What is that message, spirits? See there, the moon card. Okay, so if that's lover, they're not the happiest. They are sort of especially with that five of pentacles coming up. This is where somebody is lost. feel like you're going to, you know, I, I feel like the relationship is going to have a dark influence over it in the next couple of weeks after the new moon. Um, you know, I will tell you that the moon card is not the best to get because I feel like if you're dealing with an earth sign, they might be getting a little deceptive. But the reason why is because, you know, things are going, things aren't going well with that four of cups. Okay, so let me ask Spirit final advice. Where are you seeing this going in the next couple of weeks for the Libras? Okay, you see how that keeps happening. Now, the nine of pentacles comes up. So there is... Some kind of silver lining for the for a lot of you. I feel like you're going to be working through a rough patch, but I will tell you that materialism and narcissism, that's going to eventually ruin your relationship. Maybe not right now. Okay, because the nine of pentacles comes up. Okay, now I do see where you guys are making. I feel like there's some kind of purchase that's being made in the next couple of weeks. And so, again, you know, I feel like even though you're going to be able to work through, I don't, I'm not, I don't feel that you're going to break up in the next couple of weeks, but I do feel as though there is some, some things that you're manifesting or especially in particular, if you're dealing with an earth sign person, earth sign people, they internalize things, they turn, they, they put them in the tuck and they save them for later. OK, so um, I will tell you that this is a warning. I feel like you're going to get several warning signs in the next couple of weeks, you know, uh, from your lover saying that this may be going. Now, I do feel as though a lot of you, uh, the world card again, I'm seeing a lot of travel. So and I'm seeing just the energy being very, very busy around you. Keep in mind that there is some kind of negative influence. Over your relationship, I feel like it could be your boss. A lot of you Libras, your lover has been accusing you of cheating with your boss, sort of. 
Okay, so you know, or cheat, or cheating at the job. Yeah. So and and so a lot of you are just like, well, you know, we're just doing what we have to do for our relationship or to pay the bills or whatever. But you know, that's still negative karma in your relationship. So I do see problems in the next couple of weeks. I feel like the four of cups represents where a lover is just gonna be like, uh, you know. I'm kind of feeling like I don't want to be touched. Four of Cups is where it's not, I don't see a lot of sexual energy. You know, there's not a whole lot of passion. There's just a lot of emotion, fear, phobias coming from the moon card. Um, and just a kind of a negative dark influence. Now, something else is going to manifest going towards the full moon. And so I do full moon lovers readings all the time. I try to make sure that I do one. There's definitely, you can tell, uh, especially this king, this queen of cups is telling you that also something's manifesting. You're laying down seeds for something else to grow in the future. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, Libra. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you need a private reading, the link to my website is below. And I'll see you guys next time. Blessed be.